fitting these Gauge Master seep type point motors can be, as I'm told, a real faff, a total pain, not worth the effort. Sorry, that's totally wrong. Let me explain how easy they are to use. So you'll notice first of all that the baseboard that I'm using here isn't fixed to the frame. This is about four foot by two foot six or so, but I've not fixed it down and I am track laying with it on the bench and I think this is something which makes life an awful lot easier when you're using the seep type motors. So right, so what have I done? First thing I'm going to do is to set this point in position. You can see I've got a, a cork underlay base Okay, so and I had already done that in order to get the alignment of these two right. And then, very important, using my mirror, I'm going to check in all directions that the point is in the right place. Yes, I'm happy with that. So once I've done that, I take a small drill. Now this is an Archimedes drill. You can use a hand drill, you can use a Dremel, it doesn't matter what. Holding the point in the position where you want to have it center the blades and put that down the hole in the middle and drill a hole. Okay. Remove the point and you have a hole and that is the center of the hole of your point motor. So there you have a hole where the point motor pin is going to come through. That's a 7mm hole. I drill 7mm holes for these. And of course what you need now is a suitable hole in the, the cork. Here's my point. I've just double checked it with the mirror again to make sure it's right. And there I have my operating hole in the cork and in the baseboard. Now, this is the important part. Using a pen or a pencil, whatever you prefer, you make two marks on the baseboard where the tie bar goes. Now then, we change your drills because what I now need to do with a very small drill is this is a one millimeter drill I've got in here. I'm going to drill two holes down either side where I've made that mark. Now this is one of the fundamental parts of laying a seep motor as those two holes. You'll be amazed how important they are. Now why do I do all this with the board not attached to the rest of the layout? It's because I've just turned the board over. Now you can see this my two holes that have come through the baseboard. And what I'm going to do is to join those up. I also need to mark going this way. Here is the actual piece. These are we call these seeps, but they made gauge master sell them these days. PM1. This is the point motor that's got the built-in switch. PM2 is the one that doesn't have the switch. And this is what it looks like. It's a flat plate, as you can see, with two solenoids, quite small, and a moving rod. And that's going to get pinned on you can there. Immediately see why I've got the crosshairs. So this is going to be lined up here. There's a hole. That hole is the centre of the of the, the motor. So what I'm going to do is to put this. In the centre of everything, it goes there, it goes there, in the centre line, and you can see there are two fixing holes. I'm going to mark those two fixing holes with just a bridle. I use a small screw. 
screws. These are tiny little, I think they're um, 516 screws. So I'm going to screw that into there like that. Not too tight. Don't, do, don't try and bust yourself tightening up. Doesn't need that. Just make sure that it moves the full distance of its travel. That's perfect. That is a fitted seat point motor. I've turned the board back over. You can see that the amount of travel that you've got here is more than sufficient within that seven millimeter hole. And you can see that the whole um, key to putting these two holes and getting the point motor 90 degrees to the point is absolutely fundamental. So we reintroduce the point now. There we are. It goes on there like that. Again, before you do anything, mirror. And then comes track pins. Okay. So I'm going to use Pico track pins and pin that through. Now I'm not going to do that while the camera's running, because the camera's sitting on the baseboard, and it'll sound like an earthquake. But I'll just pin this down. When you're working track laying, one of the most uh, important things is cleanliness. So have a hoover standing by. And when you're drilling holes and making a mess, hoover fastidiously. Make sure that you get all of the bits of rubbish out of the way. You don't need any of that in the way. You certainly don't want it in your point work. So there you go. That's how to fit uh, a seat point motor. That's why I use them. I love them to death. I um, hope that's been useful. See you soon.